Yes, joining us this morning, uh, Travis Franson from uh, Town & Country Foods. Jill morning. Holder joining us this morning uh, from the Gallatin Valley Food Bank. Jill, let's start uh, talk about it. Can the Grizz, super successful again. We've got lots of canned goods at the uh, Gallatin Valley Food Bank. Yes. Now we're doing something a little different with Fill the Fridge. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's so exciting. It was your fabulous idea, KBZK, and then we, um, it's all about fresh produce. Mm -hmm. And um, it's one of those things in the food bank, uh, in America and in the world, really, uh, unhealthy diets are contributing to poor health. Yeah. And so to have fresh produce uh, will help immensely. Uh, people that are in lower income areas, basically, um, they are more at risk for unhealthy diets. So this, this is really a great idea, thanks. Oh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> I wish I had something to do with it. I didn't, but it's a good idea anyway. Travis, let's talk about uh, why Town & Country is involved in this. What, what's the hook for you folks in this? Well, we're usually doing a lot of stuff with uh, Cat and the Grizz and all the other things they have going on. Mm -hmm. um, but there is a lot of need for things that maybe go into the fridge, more perishable. Mm -hmm. um, and we thought this would be a great opportunity for us to see if we could help the food bank out. It's a, it's a natural connection for us with our stores. And so we decided to go ahead and jump in this year. And we're real curious to see how successful it is. How are we doing that at the stores? How is this functioning at uh, Town & Countries? So every day in the afternoons, I think it's from noon to 6, we're going to have stuff set up in the stores. There will be carts, people um, helping. Uh, shopping list from the food bank mm -hmm. um, of things they're looking for, which are some of the more fruits, uh, apples, oranges, um, carrots, hard squash, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll be collecting those throughout the afternoon and then getting those to the food bank later that day. That's fantastic. Let's talk a little bit specifics about some of the things that we're looking for. I know no potatoes. We live in the seed potato capital of the planet, so we don't really need those. But we're looking for other things, aren't we, Jill? Yeah, just what Travis said. Things mm -hmm. that are kind of hearty, mm -hmm. things that we don't always get. I mean, it would be lovely to get a case of grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Things that we uh, can't always provide. And so apples, oranges, hard squash, onions. I'm, I'm just thinking of what it must be like uh, for the folks who get these boxes, what to, uh, to have carrots and oranges and, yeah. and, and those kind of things that we don't uh, always have the opportunity to put into those. That's got to be exciting, especially around the holidays. Really exciting, truly. And it, it's always nice that if our little store can look just almost as good as Travis's. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a battle, to you know, say the least it in that. It really, really is. So Travis, what would you like your, uh, your visitors who come into the store regularly uh, to shop? What would you like them to do? Um, when they come in, uh, there'll be lists at the, at the front when they come in that'll have some of the wish list items they're looking for. When they're shopping, just pick up a few extra things, whatever they can think they can afford, and then they can leave it up at some carts at the check stands, and they'll be able to just donate them right there for us. That's fantastic. Yep. This is a fun one, huh, Joel? It's really fun. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm really curious how, how excited people will get. Our community is always so generous, mm. so uh, we'll see. And we're going to see if we can fill the fridge. Yeah. Jill Holder, Thank Travis Franson joining us this morning. Thank you both for being here early morning. Thank you for doing that. We're going to take a quick break here on Montana this morning. We come back, uh, I'll take a look at your forecast. Stick around.